Troy was a possibly mythological city which was the focal point of the Trojan Wars. The major source we have on the wars was written in Homer's Iliad over 2,500 years ago, and that itself was written over 500 years after the events itself were supposed to have taken place. One problem with this is we don't know if Homer actually wrote it, or even if he existed as a single individual, whether the stories attributed to him were just the copying down of previous oral tradition of stories. No one's even certain where Troy may have been. Many archaeologists have spent many years searching for it and arguing over the various different theories about it and its origins. The key to the war is the famous Helen of Troy, except that by rights she should be known as Helen of Sparta, since she's married to Menelaus, king of an area which would later become Sparta. She then ran off with, or abducted by, Paris, a son of the king of Troy. Due to the various oaths and agreements, all of Greece then agrees to send an army to wage war on Troy, including in its ranks some of the more notable mythic Greek heroes. The siege of Troy then takes place over many years, due in part to the massive walls around the city, which the Greeks appear unable to breach. One of these notable Greek heroes is Achilles, who, when he was a baby, his mother dipped him into the river Styx in an attempt to make him invulnerable, but she didn't dip his heel in the river, because that was how she was holding on to him. Now Achilles in the war having killed many Trojans, including Hector, who not only was the greatest fighter amongst the Trojans, but was also the eldest son of the king of Troy. He, Achilles, was then slain by an arrow fired by Paris, which struck him in his vulnerable heel. Which is why today, any place or area that's most vulnerable to attack is often referred to as the Achilles heel, and the tendon at the back of the foot is known as the Achilles tendon. So with Achilles now dead, and the Greeks seeking an end to the war, Decius came up with a plan of building a huge wooden horse and hiding a select group of warriors inside it. I used the image of the horse because it was sacred to the Trojans. Greeks would then pretend to sail away, giving up on the war, and leaving the horse behind. When the Trojans took the horse inside the city walls, the men inside would come out and then open the gates to Troy from the inside, and the Greeks, who had travelled only a short way up the coast, would then storm the city. The plan went almost exactly as Odysseus had planned, and Troy fell at a result. The legacy of this part of the story is that when something bad is hidden inside something which appears to be good, it's often referred to as a Trojan horse, or just a Trojan. This is commonly used these days in computing, where a Trojan is a computer program which appears to be useful or even essential to a computer user, so they install it on their computer. However, hidden within it is an installed program, it's normally some kind of malicious program or virus which can damage your computer or steal your information. There we have a very brief guide to Troy, which may or may not have existed, to Helen of Troy, who's from Sparta, but the Trojan horse was actually built by the Greeks. Then, what's in her name?